All right, it's time for another Quick Tip Tuesday. I have heard from multiple people that they become frustrated with choosing colors on GoodNotes. On Procreate, it's so easy because it has the little color picker, but on GoodNotes, you truly have to play around and find with it. So if I'm trying to find a color that matches my current font, you just have to play around with the wheel and it's really hard to get super close. So today, I'm gonna show you a quick tip on how to find a matching color. So to start, I'm gonna take a screenshot of my planner that has the colors in it that I wanna capture. So to do that on the iPad, you're simply gonna hold the two buttons, both the power button as well as the volume up button, and you'll see it takes a quick picture and stores it right to your camera roll. Then I'm gonna go to this HTML color codes website, and I'll make sure this is linked below as well. And this is a free to use website. You simply go to upload a photo, go from your photo library, and pull out that screenshot that you just took. Then you'll notice that that picture is right there, and then you can click on any of the pieces of your picture and it'll figure out what color it is. And what it's actually doing is it's coming up with your color code, and this is what we're gonna use back in GoodNotes. So for example, if I wanna pull out this darker color, I'm just gonna click on it, and now I've got this color code. So now that I have the color code, I'm gonna jump back into GoodNotes, and because it's hard to remember all these random letters and numbers, I will split my screen between both the color code website as well as my planner. I'm gonna select my pen, and then click on one of the color wheels. And down at the bottom, you're gonna see an area where you, you can actually type in a color code. So I'm gonna go back to that website and I'm simply going to type in that color code. Now when I have my screen split like this, it cuts it off a little funny so it's hard to see where you're typing, but it still works. And then when I'm done, you'll see that that color is selected now. So just to show you guys, if I zoom up and color over it, you can tell that these colors are now a perfect match. And what's great about that is now I can use that color in my planner. So let's say I'm going on vacation on Monday, I can write vacation, and the color is gonna match what is already on the planner. So because these colors are colors that I'll use often, I usually like to add them to my custom palette wheel. So to do that, you're gonna click edit, and then you will see a little dotted circle with a little plus sign. When you click on that, you'll have the option to put in a color code just like we did before. However, this time it's going to add it to your permanent color palette, which means every time I pull up my iPad, that color will be right there in GoodNotes ready for me to use. So if you have one or two planners you use and a few colors that you like to use often within those planners, you can pull all of those onto your color palette and then you'll have them anytime you're working in your planner. So I can go back and do the same thing for this light pink. And now I have both of these colors available whenever I'm working on my planner. And you can do this, you can see from the drop down, there are tons and tons of spots that'll keep adding spots. So you can add several colors that are your go-tos. This is also really helpful if you want to color code different activities. There you have it. So now using this website, you'll be able to bring in different colors that match your planner so that everything goes together really well. I hope you enjoyed this quick tip. Make sure you subscribe and like, and I'll see you all later.